Hello, I'm Rod Lawton, and this video is about lens corrections and perspective corrections in Affinity Photo 2. Lots of photos have distortion and perspective issues. This is a RAW file shot with a lens that relies on digital corrections, and this is what it looks like when they're not available. However, with the right adjustments in Affinity Photo 2, we can make it look like this, completely straight and fully corrected. But lens distortion and perspective distortion are actually two separate things. This image does have a correction profile for distortion, but it still has perspective distortion. We can fix this in Affinity Photo 2. So let's go back to the start with our RAW files. If you shoot JPEGs, these typically have lens corrections applied in camera but not every camera maker embeds a correction profile in its RAW files, and it's up to the software to provide one of its own. Not a problem. When you open a RAW file in Affinity Photo's develop mode, check the Lens tab. You should see that Affinity Photo has found a matching lens profile that fixes any lens distortion automatically. Sometimes though, it won't find one and you get to see your images in all their horrible, uncorrected glory. This is from a Canon RF 24-50mm f4.5-6.3 IS STM. It's a great little kit lens, but it relies on digital corrections to achieve its small size. You can go looking for lens profiles with this drop-down menu. There's even a search box at the top, but sure enough, there's no profile for this lens. If there had been, Affinity Photo would have found it and applied it automatically. Almost always, Affinity Photo will find a matching lens profile for your pictures, but that doesn't solve the perspective distortion issue, where you get converging verticals, for example. This is nothing to do with the lens, but caused by how you tilt the camera. So you can fix this with the sliders in the lens panel. You have to do this manually because Affinity Photo doesn't have auto perspective corrections, but it doesn't take long and it's easy enough to do by eye. You'll see soon enough though, that heavy corrections can leave blank wedges at the edge of the frame that will need to be cropped out. Not only that, the aspect ratio can start to look a little odd too. But develop mode isn't the only place to fix distortion and perspective issues and not necessarily the best either. You can also fix these problems with live filters in the photo persona. You get more control, it's a little more intuitive, and it may fit in easier with your editing workflow. So let's go ahead and develop our first rogue image. Here it is in the photo persona. We need to fix that horrendous barrel distortion and corner shading. And we can do that with the Lens Distortion Live Filter. You'll find Affinity Photo's Live Filters on a drop-down menu at the bottom of the Layers panel. Pushing the slider to the left counteracts the barrel distortion very effectively, and the trick is to push it just far enough that straight lines, especially those near the edge of the frame, actually look straight. Don't worry about converging verticals at this stage. Even after that though, it still looks a mess. We could crop it right now, but maybe we don't need to, because we're going to correct the converging verticals in a peer pavilion in the next step, and that can solve our issue with the cropping too. For this, we need the perspective live filter. This may appear above your current layer, it doesn't matter here, but if you add more layers below the image, it will affect these layers too. So, if you want, you can confine the live perspective filter to that image layer alone by dragging its icon onto the layer icon. Don't worry about the settings in the perspective panel. Look at the image. It now has four corner handles you can drag in all directions. By moving them outwards and up or down, you can remove any blank areas left over from the distortion correction, any corner shading in the original photo, and correct any converging verticals too, all at the same time.
You can even address any shifts in the vertical aspect ratio by moving the corner handles up and down. It may not look very scientific, but sometimes adjustments are best made by eye. Don't forget that live filters can be adjusted even after they've been applied. If you now see that you've overcorrected or undercorrected the distortion, you can switch to the lens distortion filter to fix it. So let's go back to my second image. This does have a lens correction profile, so I don't need to fix any distortion, but it does still need some perspective correction. So this time I just need the perspective live filter. It doesn't need so much correction because any lens distortion has already been fixed. It's a very quick job to do. So that's two very different ways to fix perspective issues in Affinity Photo, either in the Develop Persona or with live filters in the Photo Persona. I prefer the live filters approach because it's a little more controllable and intuitive and I can fix rogue uncorrected lens distortion too. That's it for this video on lens and perspective correction in Affinity Photo 2. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.